Hi guys, thank you so much for tuning in and showing support to my channel. Today's going to be a shorter video. We're still continuing our drilling campaign and I also want to talk to you about a different type of fertiliser that we can use on farmland. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I also hope that it's really informative and educational for you if you are interested in farming. Leave any comments below and likewise if you do have any questions please do let me know. So next to me here is biosolid. The biosolid is human waste but only around 1.3% of agricultural land in the UK actually has this Stuff on it and that still accounts for about 96% of biosolid so you can see there's a massive shortfall in the amount of manure that is available whether it be through cows pigs chickens ourselves able to actually be spread to replace the need for artificial fertilizer just walking Edward just checking on the beans at the same time so they look pretty good they're patching areas clearly the headland unfortunately has got a lot of empty spots which is quite annoying you can sort of see some of these more bare patches but usually we would lift the headland again before the drill went in, but we thought because it had metal tines that you'd just be able to go straight into it afterwards, because in effect it's doing the same thing. Now, whether this would change, depending on whether we had recultivated it or not, obviously we won't know, but it's, it's all a learning curve. Um, and when the rep comes to talk about this other new shiny bit of yellow stuff, we'll be able to see actually whether we can just do it ourselves in the future, whether we actually get rid of the tine drill. Um, and focus on three meters of direct drilling rather than six meters of time drilling. We couldn't pull six meters of direct drill because it's too much, especially through clay. And even on the flat ground, I think we'd struggle a little bit. Possibly a little bit of scorch on the top. This is my real bugbear. Someone has decided to leave the gate open again. I don't know why people do it. We've had rain over the past couple of days, but we're back to drilling now. So the new seeds arrived, some here, some in the other shed, finally. So it took them about, well, it's probably about three or four weeks since we ordered it, and they said it was going to be here within two weeks. But anyway, so it's here. Some of the new seed heading out. Uh, laureate seed here. What we did notice this morning, one of the air pipes was actually rubbing against one of the hydraulic pipes. So we had to fix that. So we're about an hour or two behind where we thought we were gonna be, but the sun's finally come back out again. So it was tipping down yesterday, tipping down the day before, but I think we're actually in pretty good order now. So I'm gonna go off rolling some of the other fields that we've drilled, and dad's obviously gonna go out and just drill this one here. Question is, is this oak gonna survive? The redwood's looking good. Probably put it a bit too close to the buildings, really. I have to pitch him up so he doesn't bend. For anyone that missed it in my previous videos, so these small markers here are the pre-emergence markers and they leave a mark so dad knows where the seed hasn't gone because of those blocked off pipes and then he can then use that for the tram line. So it's a drier day, so as promised, let's talk about sh So over the gate here, we've got biosolid. Biosolid is human waste. So it was first referenced in Japan in the 1700s and they called it night soil. Now the UK produces 12 million tonnes of wastewater per year. So that's a net amount of 53 million tonnes of untreated sludge per year. Now that's treated to reduce fermentation, remove E. coli and salmonella. Now there's different treatment processes. There's the anaerobic digestion, which accounts for about 73%, or you can stabilize it with lime, which is about 27%. And there's a small percentage by other means. But this behind us would be 23% moisture, and it has around a 69 pounds an acre value 
to the ground here. So with the rising cost of fertilizer, it makes sense to look at things like this because it's adding nitrogen, it's adding sulfur, it's adding potash, and it's also adding magnesium. So it can go straight onto this wheat here, or it can go to on the barley across the road. But an assessment has to take place and you can't put it if the soil is pH level of five or below. I already made reference at the start of the video that around 70 to 80% of this stuff from the UK is actually used on agricultural land, but that still only accounts for 1.3% of agricultural farmland. So you can see there's a massive shortfall in the available organic matter. And if we stop eating meat, which was actually leaked on the government website before it was taken down, and this stuff isn't enough to go around, then we have to rely on artificial fertilizer. The only way forward is this stuff through us or animals, surely. So it doesn't really make sense. And even the green people, when you talk to them about stopping eating meat, they for once actually do see the bigger picture and they say well if you stop eating meat then we're not going to have organic fertilizer and we're going to then have an over-reliance on artificial fertilizer again so we don't know what the answer is but we can only just chip away at the problem and do the best we can but biosol is a very interesting approach now in norway and i like to think they're quite advanced with their thinking they ban this from being put on land but they will incinerate it to produce power here, it's the reverse. Obviously, we don't really burn it, but we do put it on land. There was a study where there were a load of barren cows because this had been spread on grass and female contraceptive, um, I guess, hormones and elements existed actually in this pile. And so as a result, the female contraceptives used for humans was actually making the cows barren because they were eating the grass that it was spread on. We've got oat contracts as well, which preclude us from using this. Now, I would state this is not ours. This is a neighbour of ours, but this is a really good example. We've got two neighbours either side of us that use it. We personally don't because both our barley contract and our oat contracts aren't something that we want to mess up by putting this on. But I just wanted to show you really interesting example. How many people have seen a pile of human shit before? So thank you so much for watching. As ever, if you haven't already, please like, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope you're enjoying the content and I'll see you next time. Bye.